So we're back to take on Finn O'Mara's Torquay, but he'll be missing the game through injury. Roll the intro. No, I won't stop. And welcome back to the folks in the Victor Save. I am Coach Left Foot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. And um, I've not actually played the save for a while. I've been doing the bit of the Middlesbrough save. Go and check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, back to Prem, a new series I'm doing. And uh, I've generally been pretty busy. My wife's been away, so I've had to look after little Rudel. I'm pointing to the floor. He's down here somewhere. Um, uh, all by myself. So I've been going to work, back from work, looking after the dog and all that jazz. So only just about getting onto it now. But we still have an A plus rating, which is really, really good. Finances, don't, 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 just don't, nah, nah, not, not doing finances anymore. Um, I mean, we are trying, we are trying. It's just not, it's very difficult. Basically, we're spending 400 quid more than we're allowed to for wage budget. But, um... That's all right because the board, the board still love us at the moment. Work within wage budget on, on course apparently. I'm not too sure about that, but um, yes. Yeah, so the last time we were together was uh, the beginning of the season, if I remember rightly. So uh, we got off to a fantastic start in the Vanarama National where we're playing now. We beat Halifax three 0 beat Sully Moors four three. Uh, we beat York City two one. It was a great start, and then. Morecambe 2-2, two, two, Hereford 0-0, nil, nil, Harrogate 1-0, and we've just lost to Eastleigh 2-1, which is really, really annoying. Jealous getting a penalty. Uh, they scored in all the fives. Five minutes and 55 minutes. But uh, we came today to play Torquay United and Fylde, or Phil Fylde, I think it is, yeah. The team that we played in the FA Trophy not uh, not too many seasons ago now. But yeah, it's going very well. We've bought, built a good team here. Thank you very much for your comments and stuff on the previous videos. It is absolutely great. We're still looking... This midfield spot here is the tough one. No one wants to own it and make it their own position. So, yeah, we'll have to see how we do. But goals-wise, Stansfield is 5-7. in seven. Taylor Crossdale, 3-7. and seven. And, uh, yeah, the centre-back, Luca, or one of the centre-backs, Luca Cocoreccio, is 2-7 uh, in seven as well. So it is going very, very well. But let's get into the game. And um, we will crack on. This is how we're going to line up. So it'll be Gra Grakeski in goal. I think is how you'd say his name. Agabatoma, Okocha, and Kokorechia at the back. Clark, Maskell, Uakwe, Frey, Jellis, Taylor Crossdale, and Stansfield up top. On the bench, notable names on the bench. Rolt, Flaherty, Terhorst, obviously, Leek. Um, and Casper still is... Well, he's not making the bench because we can only name five people. I'm just wondering, should I really have... I should probably really have a defender on the bench ryan hughes why i loaned i've just loaned you oh yes transfer transfers that's how a while it's been since i played this um loney's in we've loaned in james clark from wickham as a cover on right wing back position and ryan hughes from northampton as cover of left wing back position they won't be getting too much game time unless we get a big injury of some description um especially because we've got harry woodward and james clark both on the right hand side uh, james clark is actually He's not his stats aren't brilliant, but he's actually playing quite well at the moment. So we'll keep him in. Um Woodward on the bench. I feel like I need a centre back on the bench. I feel like this is a lot of striker. Oh, Adam Leak's really good though. Let's take oh, I've got to take unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take Ter Horst off the bench and we will place Basir Humphreys on the bench in place of him. So let's get into the game. Um I wonder if it's gonna port over the Settings from the middles were save. I hope not. Uh, we should try and encourage the team, says Ross. Um, good luck. Go and pull off an upset. Upset. Apparently, Torquay are better than us. So, yeah. Let's go and see what happens. Uh, so, the Vanarama National started, or the National League, I should say, started very, very well. So, okay, it's not. It's remembered the high. It, it must have remembered it from. Yes, because replays are on. So, that's great. Um, uh, straight away, we're nearly in behind. Masco. Crosses it, it's blocked, and uh, Asumga just booms it out for a throw. So, National League started very, very well. Four points off top position, which is Yeovil, but we're very much in a playoff race. Early doors, which is great to see. Stansfield back to Masco. Masco, and it goes cross there with a the header over the bar. But we're doing well. We are starting well in the National League, and that's good to see. Hopefully, we can carry it on through the whole season. It would be lovely to get this team into the Football League. How cool would that be? Um, I keep asking, you know, can we go professional? Obviously, they keep saying we don't have the money for it because I've sort of spent loads of money that we don't have. 
Uh, well, no, I mean, no, we're spending wages. We're spending money on wages that we can't really afford. That was why didn't the keeper go and get that in Klasiek? But uh, it's a good save. Anyway, it's a good block. Sorry from the defender. But uh, we're going to see. They look quite tired compared to us. A lot of teams look tired compared to us. I don't know if it's because maybe they train full time or they they've got other cup. They don't have I think other cup competitions that we don't have. So Covalent goes long. Maskell wins that header though. There's going to be no one to get on the end of it. Cartwright picks it up into Winter. Obviously, Finn O'Mara we sold to Torquay, but he's uh, yeah injured and can't play in this game. Frey. Frey's got a lot of space to run into here. What will he do? Looks out right to Clark. He does get the ball. Clark's in. He shoots. Oh, into the top corner. I said his stats aren't the best, but he's playing very well, and he backs that up. James Clark with the goal, and we go 1-0 up. Away at Torquay, which is wonderful. Frey has been instrumental since we brought him in. He's been absolutely brilliant. Out it goes to Clark. Clark just beat a Munch, a Merch to the ball and then fires it past the goalkeeper from quite still quite a distance out. That's a good finish for a right wing back there. And uh, it's 1-0 Folkestone and Victor, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, we need to keep an eye on Yeovil. Yeovil are the team we really need to start dropping points so that we can catch them up as Jealous robs the ball and looks to launch a counter. The defender hasn't tracked the run, but Jealous didn't pass it. Jealous is still going. He lays it in. Stansfield there. Oh, what is it? It's straight at the bloody goalkeeper. Why not put it either side? It's got to be a nice little side foot finish into the bottom corner, but no. Uh, Frey with the corner, and it goes towards the back post. Agapatoma can't get there, but uh, it's a goal kick to Torquay as the ball runs out of play. Only two points off Yeovil, who are drawing 0-0 at the moment, which is good. Come on, York City. Come on, York City. Clark picks the ball up on the right-hand side. Can he go past his man? No, he tried to cross, but it falls to Samut. Andrews on the left for Torquay into Whitfield, who's got a bit of space. We get a good tackle in Uwekwe. Up the line to Taylor Crossdale. He holds it up well, turns. Jealous has made a good run down the middle. Crossdale just holds the ball up, and it goes towards Jealous. He's got runners beyond him, but he goes out right to Clark. Clark working it all into the box. Stansfield can't get there. He'll pick up the poor header. Jealous with a shot. Oh, it's another one into the corner of the goal. This keeper has been unlucky because both shots have been absolutely brilliant. Um, but Jamie Jealous, who wasn't actually playing very well, is just on the score sheet now. Clark put this in. Stansfield couldn't get the first at it. It's headed away by Cara. But then a nice little knockdown. First time half volley. Look at that for technique. And Jamie Jealous fires us into a 2-0 lead. And it's been pretty much domination. It's been a wonderful performance so far. And uh, this is bumping us up into second place. I do appreciate the efforts. I'll agree with you there, Ross. As uh, Rude pops his head up to say hello. You'll get on camera if you keep doing this, mate. Clark into Agapatoma from the second half. Kickoff goes long, but Cameron wins the header. We'll just give him a bit of praise as we go out into the second half. Clark is uh, tackled but gets it back. Uwekwe looks down the line to Taylor Crossdale, but it's easily read by the defender. They are not playing well, and they are knackered. Winter up to Whitfield into um, Asumaga into Winter. Maskell blocks the cross twice and gets it away. Taylor Crossdale flicks it on. Stansfield. Stansfield holds up well. Back to Masco. He's got quite a lot of work to do on that left-hand side, but he uses his pace. He tries to get past his man, lays it back to Frey. Frey and Taylor Cross there on Kovalin makes the save. Wrexham have obviously scored because they've gone back into second place. But, uh... Yeah, to be honest, I'm not going to be mad as long as we win. Stansfield, ball in, it's Taylor Crossdale, picks it up, tries to turn his man, he does, gets a shot off and Kovalin makes the save again. 53 minutes gone, and let's be honest, it's all folks in a victor at the moment, and that's what we like to see and say. Frey with a corner in, Kokodash shows at the back post, but he can't keep it back into the danger area. Yeah, wait, we again, it's that central midfield role. Literally nobody wants to make it their own, nobody wants to claim it. I could put Humphreys in there and try that, but... I'm not gonna. Here we go. We're gonna. Rude's now just staring at me as if he wants to go out for a walk. In a minute, buddy. This is important. A ball in, and uh, Grasecki makes a simple catch into Akotcha. Akotcha goes out to right to Clark with a wonderful goal scorer in the first goal. Clark, can he beat his man? Just holds it up. That's literally a pass straight to their central midfielder, but it's bouncing around. Moss will bring it down for Torquay. He holds on to it. Good ball out to Asomaga on the other side. He's got Winter on the overlap and uses him. Torquay looking a little bit threatening now, unless we can nick the ball here. Samu gets it. Back to Asomaga. Into Samu again. Out to Little. Little to Andrews. Back to Little. Overlaps on. Clark is going to get there. No. Munch makes the tackle. Andrews is in. Shoots and hits the side netting. And I think this little man wants some attention. So here he is. Little Rudelpoo. Assistant manager, sorry Ross, he's going to be my assistant manager for the rest of this game because he's here. 
And, uh, oh God, he's making a right faff of this, isn't he? Bring you on, Rude, and if you if we concede, Rude or Poo, it's all your fault. Uh, Humphrey's on in the middle there as the, hold, as the defensive man. And I'm going to bring Bradley Rolt on, at left wing back. Can't really play there, as uh, Rude is causing absolute havoc up here. <laughs> this is why pets and live video recording don't mix. Rude, at least get your face in the camera so people can see how cute you are. Look at this, hello. Hello! <laughs> um, but we're playing very well. They've moved to a 4 4 2. We'll uh, give it a bit more praise again as we go into a highlight. Cameron over the top. Agabatome with a great header. Kotcha picks it up. Over the top. Stansfield's in behind. Surely he's got to finish this one. Our top goal scorer for the season. It's well tipped over the bar by Kovalin. And uh, Kovo, Ko Kovolin. Ko Kovolin? I don't know how you pronounce that. But uh, Kovalin makes a good save. Frey with a corner in. And it's headed over the bar. And, uh, three minutes to go. Let's make our final substitution. Um, we'll do Taylor crossed out off for Leak up front. And I think, do we swap those two over normally? No, we don't. We'll play it like that. Um, so Leak on loan from Shoes uh, Parent Club, Shrewsbury, actually, our senior affiliate. And uh, he's doing, uh, he's, he's got some good stats and he's, he plays quite well as a sub coming off the bench. That's a terrible shot from Chakwana. As good as your name is, mate, your shooting's awful. Um, but into injury time we go. It does look like we're going to get the win. As uh, Torquay just put one more attack together. What a save that is from Grakevsky. And Whitfield was offside. But um, that is a wonderful save from that range. Those reactions, lovely stuff. Showing he's got the uh, got the goods to get us, hopefully, into the Football League. So Little picks the ball up. Out to right to Chakwana again. Chakwana is tackled well by Rolt. But he managed to still get the ball into Cozella, which I'm pretty sure is the name of a beer. Winter, ball across, Humphreys with a header, Frey's there, up to Jellis, back to Frey, out to Stansfield on the left-hand side, what can he do, one last attack, come on Stansfield, can he beat his man, lays it square, there's the full-time whistle, and it's a comfortable 2-0 win away at Torquay, which is absolutely brilliant, as uh, Rude is now, he's shy, he doesn't want to put his face to the camera, but he will put his ass to the microphone, so hopefully he doesn't fart, um, but it's a really good win, Jealous, the seven interceptions and seven tackles. Oh, that was Clark, I was going to say, not Jealous. Uh, your defensive work was absolutely brilliant. Well played, son. Up to third position then. It's so annoying that only one gets automatic promotion. But Yeovil did lose, so we're only one point off top now. Bricks have, Bricks have a game in hand. But next up is Fylde, who find themselves in 13th, nine points behind us. It's still early doors, but it's looking promising. We'll be back for that second game against Fylde, and let's see how we do. See you then. So here we are then, back for the second game. Rude is still here. You can just about see his back. Um, he might just put put his face on camera in a minute. He's looking at the microphone as if to, gay, if to say, that, that looks like a toy. Let's play with that. Um, we've won one. We've won the owner. He is sniffing around the microphone. Rude, look. Come here. Come here. Hello. I'm Rude Poo. Oh, wee, oh, wee. There we go. There we go. So, there we go. That's comfy. Um, <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, we've won the the only game that we've played against each other, um, which is very good. They play a similar formation to us in a 5-3-2, whereas we play apparently a 5-2-1-2 wing-back formation. This is Root's ear, by the way, that you can see here on the screen. Um, a win would be wonderful because Wrexham didn't win their game in hand, so we could potentially go top of the league with a good result and other results going in our favour. The only change we're going to make is Awekwe is going to come off and um, Pajazetti is going to come in. There he is. I was, I was wondering where he got to. Pajazetti a bit lacking match fitness, but uh, should be alright. Again, he's this is the only position he's played. Look at those ratings. They're absolutely dreadful. Uh, you can probably argue Humphreys is a bit unlucky to miss out in that starting spot, but he can't play it very comfortably. So we'll go with that. I apologise if my voice uh, seems a little bit quieter i am sitting away from the microphone because of rude at the moment who is just i don't know chewing in his sleep or something i think at the moment but uh, yeah same formation that's the only change then Pachazetti in for awake and uh, they're lining up in a 352 with some names i don't really recognize but like most people in the national league they have an ex norwich youth player in um timmy Odessina, who does look quite good. But we've already beaten Fylde once, so we can go and beat them again. Let's go into the dressing room. Um, I agree, Ross. Go and pick up where you left off, because that was a really good performance against Torquay. And I would like to see some of the same. So let's get into the game then. And uh, they're playing a cautious 5-3-2. 
only a point behind Yeovil is incredible. As uh, Maskell is tackled straight away by Cole. That seems to be our kickoff tactic as well. Get the ball out left to Maskell and see what you can do. Kokodashia goes long. Stansfield wins the header. Taylor Crossdale shoots. It's blocked. And uh, filed. Clear it away down the left. And uh, not much to say about that, is there, little Rudel? As uh, Fisher picks the ball up. Uh, Hendry wins the flick on. But Agabatoma is there. And a little to no pressure down the line. Taylor Crossdale uses his pace. Gets in behind. So Taylor Crossdale. What a ball. Stansfield's there. That is the two strikers combining wonderfully inside three minutes to make it 1-0 Folkestone. And this is absolutely ridiculous how good we're playing at the moment. Taylor Crossdale. I'm glad he's providing the goods because he was the guy we tried to sign. He... Turned us down, went on loan to Bishop Stratford, I think it was. And while he was uh, on trial, sorry, and while he was on trial there, we snapped him up for free. And uh, that was very, very nice. And he is paying dividends because we are now 1 0 up and going top of the National League joint with Notts County at the moment. Big Notts County. I mean, not like those teams. Notts County, Hartlepool, Yeovil, Chesterfield, Crew. There's some big teams in this division. It's Frey. Oh, it's gone in. I thought Fisher was going to touch it over and we get a corner. Rourke Frey has scored a wonderful free kick. Genius is what the commentary says. Genius by Frey. As he steps up to this, hits it right-footed. The keeper probably should do better, but sort of palms it into the roof of the net. His second goal of the season. Both of them have been free kicks. And uh, he makes it 2-0. Absolutely incredible. Yeovil are losing to Barrow. Could this day get any better? Frey hits another one. Fisher saves this one, though. He tried the same thing again. And uh, we are on a roll. But Masco has picked up a knock. It's all right. He's recovering. He hasn't actually got the orange symbol sign. He will recover. Half an hour gone. 2-0 up. Yes, please. More of the same is what we want to do. They've only had one shot on target so far. Throw in. Clark up the line. Taylor Crossdale didn't even move for that one. Gordon is under it. Agabatoma flicks it on, but Gordon will win the foot race. He gets there. Can he put the cross in? Lays it back to Hendry. Hendry takes a couple of touches. Is held up well by Clark, but gives it to Coots. Back to Hendry. And we're forcing them back a little bit now. This is good. Good pressure. Coots. Coots holds it up. He's got some players on the edge of the box. All the way out to Carl on the right-hand side, who tries to beat Masco. Ball in. Cocodeccio. Gets it away. That's a name that I can't say and is going to be said so many different times while he's at the club. Stansfield. Can he get on the end of his own flick on? No, he can't. Burton just beats him there. Fisher picks it up. Hoofs it along and Clark will pick that up very easily on the right-hand side. He needs men in the box to cross it to. Clark lays it back looking for Frey. Frey out to Masco. Masco shoots. It's timid and poor and dribbles past the far post. But, uh, yeah, ten shots, four on target to their four and one. We are by far playing the better here. I just if, if someone could beat Notts County now, that's that would be great. I would want to be top. I want to be top, clear top. That's what I want to be. Um, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased, boys. We're two 0 up. Two 0 up and playing well. This is wonderful. Um, who's at the bottom? Radcliffe have come up. They're at the bottom. Macclesfield Town, Sully Moors, and Barrow. Barrow are beating Yeovil, and Barrow are basically bottom. As uh, Stansfield doesn't put too much effort in to go and get that ball. Jellis not playing well. Badgerzotti, Masco, Clark. Wingbacks not getting involved in the game. Very strange. That's they're normally our strongest part. Notts County are two 0 up, so it's likely not likely they're going to lose um, this uh, this fixture. But three teams all drawing on twenty at the top in the early stages of the Vanarama National. Masco, can he put the cross in? He's not been playing very well this half. Stansfield picks up the loose ball. Back to Masco. Cross in. Clark at the back post. Both wingbacks are playing poorly. Now one's got an assist and one's got a goal. That will bump the ratings. That is a move I love. The defenders all get drawn to the midfielders running in and the attackers that come over here. No one picks up the other wing back at the back post. He sneaks in. Look at them all. They're in a line. They're just watching these two here. No one's watching Clark at the back. A lovely side foot volley into the bottom corner. 3-0 Folkestone. Thank you very much. Good night. Uh, Humphreys is going to come on for Pagazetti in that role there. We might have to train him to play there, you know. Jealous is going to come off and be replaced by Flaherty, the ex-Arsenal player who played for Kings Lynn and scored against us in the FA Trophy semi-final and is the only reason why I signed him. Might try and sell him, actually, because he's probably not going to get to... I don't know. Our squad isn't big enough to go and sell people at the moment, so it's a little bit tough to make those sort of decisions. I mean, what do we do? We've got an injury to Stansfield. That is a nightmare. That is an absolute nightmare. So we have Leek, who can play attack in midfield more than anything. 
We're going to bring on, yeah, we'll bring on Rolt um, in his more favoured position up front. Uh, Taylor Crossdale's done well, actually, as the complete forward. So, uh, yeah, so Taylor Crossdale and now Rolt up front on loan from Shrewsbury, as I mentioned in the last game. Let's hope that we can uh, get him some service because he has got a good finish on him. Masco. Maskell brings the ball out of defence really well. It's th technically three on three. They've got two more men back to make it five on three. That's a bit of a poor pass. And Rolt's had to run really wide to pick it up. Back to Maskell. Maskell into Frey. Back to Maskell again. Good movement and good passing. Maskell. What can he do? Lays it back to Frey again. Tries to put the ball in. Maskell picks it up. In it goes. Cross down with a header. Fisher with a good save. And uh, again, it's another game that we've absolutely dominated. We have this Folkson team absolutely cooking on gas. It is absolutely brilliant so far. Masco will take the throw in. It goes towards Frey. Back to Masco. Masco ball in. Nobody's there. It falls to Flaherty over the bar. And it would have made it four, but I'm very happy with three, to be honest. Three's fine. Um, we just got to hope this injury to Stansfield isn't too bad. A foot injury. Maybe a broken toe or um, a broken metatarsal or something like that. Hopefully nothing too bad because he has been... Uh, well, he's our top goal scorer. He's been in the goals this season very well. There's the full-time whistle. A very successful episode with back-to-back -back wins. But is it going to be? Is it going to be bad with that injury? I'm very happy with the result. That is good. Uh, Three-nil win against AFC Fylde is good. What is the damage with that injury though? That's that's what I'm more worried about. So we let the loading go. We are top by goal difference. Two better goals. Two more better goal difference than Notts County. Which is really good. We go top of the National League. Who would have thought? Masco injured. Damaged heel. Six to nine days. Stansfield. Two to three weeks. Pulled ankle ligaments. Ouch. Okay. Um, so Leak is going to come in for him up front. Uh, sorry. Rolt will come in for him up front. Um, yeah. Interesting. Okay. We'll have to see how that goes. Well, we'll be back. I'm pretty sure this is, one, this is a cup game here. So I'm pretty sure we'll come back for that cup game fixture there but thank you so much for watching please do leave a like subscribe and comment on the video it all helps in getting more people to be attracted to the channel because it gets up the youtube algorithm and all that jazz apologies for the interruption from rude but he has just immediately fallen asleep now on half on my lap and half on my desk so he's obviously just very tired and uh, go and check out some of the other videos that we've got go and check out the middlesbrough save go and check out the norwich save why not it'll be good to, for you to go and check out more of my stuff because Again, the more videos that get watched and liked and stuff like that, the more people get to see them. Thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.